Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And today's finally the day when I want to get this BMW up and running, this amazing BMW 750v12. I really love this car. So today hopefully is the day I gathered up a lot of parts and hopefully we can get this car back on the road today. We'll see, but I'm super excited. We should be good to go after today's repair. You know, there may be some other issues that we might encounter. You know, the car has been sitting for two or three years you know but as of right now it still has a bad alternator it's still not charging uh it needs a couple of more other things so i'm definitely ready to go ahead and do this today give this car all the love because these are amazing cars so also by the way my name is vito thank you so much for tuning in and just so you know i'm a huge classic bmw enthusiast you know i love uh, classic bmws pretty much the same way i love classic mercedes classic mercedes will always be in my number one um vehicle but i also cherish and love bmws so please don't be hating on bmws i love bmws they're amazing cars this car has 250,000 miles it's an amazing machine <laughs> What a legendary machine, you know, this is pretty insane. These cars are becoming so rare mainly because people uh, give up on these cars. A lot of people who own these cars, they don't know what they own and they don't deserve to own these amazing cars. But I'm really uh, glad that the previous owner actually gave this car away to us so we can give it all the love and everything because this car really deserves it. I mean, this car is awesome. Uh, so we're gonna give it all the love today. We're gonna give it all the care that she needs or wants so yeah um i mean remember guys don't give up on your classic mercedes or bmws or any other classic car you know they don't make them like they used to all right all right guys here's our amazing v12 so once again i'll be taking all this stuff off and i'll get to the alternator and replace the alternator on this car so this car should be good to go after this so i'm pretty excited uh, place your bets and let's get to it. It's going to take me about probably an hour or two hours to replace this because it's a pain to do it on this V12, but it's okay. We never give up. We will do it. Okay guys, here are the parts for this car as we have this uh, really nice refurbished alternator, Bosch. I'm gonna be installing today and we have a couple of uh, uh, intake tubes and they're in amazing condition. And they actually, they're pretty pliable. The old ones that were actually really cracked and not good. So we're gonna be installing these ones. Okay, and I also grabbed uh, an auxiliary water pump with the heater valve um, because on this car it was missing from the beginning because the previous owner took it out for some reason so we'll be installing that but that's going to be in another video all right guys well here's that uh junk chinese remanufactured alternator so i have to swap it out put a bosch in and hopefully everything goes well so i'm pretty excited you know it's just quite a bit of work i have it jacked up slightly you know so i can get some space go underneath and let's get this done and of course it's starting to rain right now i just hope it's not too bad so i really want to finish this car <laughs> and here's an amazing rain thank you rain you're really helping me today with the replacement of this alternator awesome <laughs> alternator is uh, disconnected and uh, only after removing that alternator mounting bolts i was able to disconnect these the wires because otherwise there's like barely any space at all okay here's that alternator and um right now while it's in this position i have to disconnect the bottom line right here and that you see in front of you 
in order for me to take this alternator out. All right, guys, time for some hot chocolate. <laughs> uh, you know, during the weather like this, uh, you know, you get some better appetite. So yeah, definitely, cheers. Bosch alternator is going in. All right, guys, well, that upper line has been tightened and uh, both crush washers are there too. All right, guys, so before I install the alternator all the way and before I install those two wires, what I'm gonna make sure is that uh, they have continuity. So I have the wire right there. It's gonna be a big positive wire that goes to the alternator and uh, I'm gonna check that continuity. It comes right there. Right over there, I'm gonna make sure we have continuity. So it's not showing continuity because it's, sometimes it's hard for me to hold it in place. So I'll retry it. Okay, so it's showing continuity. I'm touching that right there. That big wire goes to the alternator and it goes all the way there and it's got continuity. This small wire, blue wire, also has continuity. It goes, it comes right here and it has continuity. So that's good. And yeah, I can safely go ahead and install this alternator. I mean, if anything, we might have to do the voltage drop, but that's only when everything is installed and the alternator, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have success today and we won't have to do any of that. By the way, don't worry. This is just the label or the, just the tape. I put the tape, I covered the Bosch, uh, you know, label on it because it's nice. So I didn't want to ruin the label, but I'll show you at the end, it's a Bosch alternator. Okay guys, so the two connections are made. Okay, right there installed. The only thing is I wanted to show you, really interesting. I decided to peel some of this insulation and I found that there is some uh, green crusties. So there's some corrosion on this cable and I was kind of suspecting it too. Uh, but either way, I mean, it should still be working. Uh, so, we will reinstall everything and then you know we'll have the we'll have the car running and everything so we'll see if it works it, it works if it doesn't work then i'm gonna check this cable i'll check the voltage drop on this cable mm, and then obviously i'll put some liquid electrical tape on that uh, so the copper is not exposed all right my friends i'm finally done installing the alternator i'm so excited and uh, let me show you how everything looks like the belt is already back on and everything and whew, i can't wait to start this baby all right there she is guys bosch alternator super nice all right everything is reconnected all right i just have to start installing everything here and then <laughs> cross our fingers guys Guys, I just can't stop admiring this amazing car. Uh, I know that this car is smiling already. Um, and just, uh, you know, looking at this car just makes my day, you know. And this is an amazing machine, uh, 750 IL, you know, a super rare, super amazing car. Almost 30 years old. And I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, this, this thing is awesome. Uh, you know, obviously probably needs some different wheels here and there, but the body is immaculate, you know, obviously. Uh, and just so you know, those of you who are watching somewhere from somewhere else uh, outside the United States, uh, this is Washington State. This is uh, Pacific Northwest, uh, West United States. So we don't get, we barely have any snow. There's no salt. Uh, everything is super clean. We do have a lot of uh, rain here, but, um, you know, these cars are amazing. I mean, they just live and nothing is going on with them. You know, there's literally no rust on this car. Uh, you know, just mainly it's just the water leaks that you have to worry about. So there's some rust on the trunk area, um, in the trunk actually. And uh, yeah, but that's gonna be taken care of. Other, otherwise, this thing is awesome.
All right, guys, I'm ready to install this uh, intake tube. It's a little bit better than the old one. It's actually not cracked anywhere. It's all intact. And uh, as you can see, I put some uh, paste right there, actually silicone paste, so it never seizes up in there. It's gonna be easier to remove it too. All right, guys, I replaced these intake tubes. They look really nice right now, all pliable, good to go. Everything is tightened up. I'm about to start this car. <laughs> Should be really exciting. All right, guys, so everything is pretty much back together. Um, you know, reinstalled. Uh, I installed a battery from a different car, so we do have charging voltage, so it should be able, we should be able to start this engine. And, you know, right now my main goal is to make sure that we have the charging voltage. I don't know if the car is still in the limp mode or not. I just want to know whether I have, you know, 14 something volts at idle, you know. So hopefully we do. And if everything checks out, it's awesome. And then after that, we're going to, it's going to be something, you know, it's going to be some other videos and repairs that we need to do to this car to get it going. But right now I just need to make sure that it's not stalling anymore, that, you know, we do have a good uh, you know, charging voltage. So just uh, turn the key on. Cool, look at that. We have a battery in there. So, okay. All right, I mean, just try, go for it. The belt is squeaky a little bit. I might have to tighten the belt a little bit. Is the battery light on? No. It's not on anymore? No. All right, that's good. That's a good thing. Let me just double check, make sure we have charging voltage. All right, guys, well, um, I came back. I had to tighten a couple more things here. The belt was squeaking, so I tightened that. Everything is nice and good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it and also make sure there's no leaks and that everything is good. Battery light off. All right, guys, well, um, I would say today was a productive day because I got back the charge for this car. And so the alternator is charging right now, which is really good. The only problem is we're still stuck with, um, you know, in a limp mode, basically, you know, and I noticed that EML light doesn't come on when I turn the key on. So I really have to investigate this. Yeah, it's kind of annoying, but I really have to investigate that and get this car back on the road. Um, and check engine light is also on. Uh, it comes on, goes away uh, from time to time. But yeah, I'm just happy that this car can stay running right now. No problem. It's not running the best, but it's running and the battery is getting charged up.
also one more thing one of my viewers mentioned that these two connectors were disconnected okay so as you can see they're disconnected right there one of these goes to the alternator so right both connectors are disconnected i'm gonna show you that the battery is still charging all right with the connector disconnected the battery is still charging all right, so that connector has nothing to do, but I really, really appreciate the help and tips. I'm gonna plug it back together. What this connector do, uh, what this connector does is it provides the battery light. So when you turn the key on, there's gonna be a battery light because initially there was no battery light that would come on on the cluster, which was really weird. I thought maybe the bulb was out, but because of this connector being disconnected, the light bulb would not come on. But once it connected, yeah it's it's gonna come on but basically well, while the engine is running and if everything is good with the alternator of course the battery light will be out but if there's anything wrong it will let you know the battery light will come on it will tell you that hey you know something is wrong with the charging voltage but right now when i connect it that's connected all right we only have a check engine light. We don't have the battery. The battery light is right there, actually. Guys, the heater is also working. It's actually nice and warm. That's amazing. All right, so it's been idling for a while now. The temperature is getting there. It's not overheating. Um, so far, so good. You know, but I have to figure out this uh, limp home uh, issue with this car. All right, I just shut it off. It's been idling for a while. The engine is hot. And we also have a problem with the brakes and the brake pedal is like kind of sinking down to the floor. Have a suspicion it's probably a bad accumulator right there, which is no longer available. So yeah, you know, there's just uh, more and more stuff, but you know, we never give up on, ama on these amazing cars. So I hope uh, you're also not giving up on them. Also guys, you probably won't be able to see, but I did put a liquid electrical tape on those wires and I'm about to take this and just wrap it around this rubber. All right, guys, that's it. As you can see, I put everything back into its spot as you can see the auxiliary water pump is still missing and everything else is there everything else is reinstalled yeah, reinstalled all nice and good no issues and yeah amazing the belt is not uh squeaking anymore great stuff Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and stopping by. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. And uh, that's gonna be it for today. And then next time I'll come back and we will try to figure out this uh, EML light and this car should be back on the road. Um, other than that, I'm super happy tonight. Uh, today I've accomplished a lot, you know, installed a really good quality, uh, almost like new Bosch uh, alternator and it's charging it's doing its thing and actually put a load on it it's still got a charge which is really good 
uh, and I mean I'm just super happy about it you know uh, just cleaned up a bunch of stuff as well and yeah uh, figured everything out and now the only thing that we have to do is first thing is figure out the you know limb home mode and next will be the brakes but I'm not too worried about the brakes right now I mean it, it will still stop should be all good but anyways that's it for this video guys thank you so much see you in the next one uh, share this video with your friends and family take care